Hello, welcome back Leos. This is going to be a general reading for you between January 1 to 7 and this is for all Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. And for personals, I'm available on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. You can reach out to me uh, for white prey based spells as well as well as manifestation crystals. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. And if you're dealing with a Scorpio or you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Mercury, then don't forget to subscribe to my newest channel, which is I Enigma Scorpio. Follow my Instagram if you want to be a part of my free uh, Q&A tomorrow. Let's see, Leos. Since this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. Let's see what's coming. Jan 1 to 7, 2023. All right. All right. I'm seeing two people coming in. I'm seeing you being the center of attention. Okay. For the two people. There's someone from the past that misses your absence and wants you back. And then there is a new person that's willing to give you that stability and love and a long-term commitment. But the fact that you still have emotions for this past person may put you in this stuck situation like should I give this past person a, a chance or should I go for this new love <clears throat> the new love is not going to wait for you for long this is also what I'm seeing because this person is in like a hurry like because they have a lot of responsibilities they have a lot of other things uh, to watch out for so they're not going to wait for too long but if you keep on resisting this connection make them wait for too long they might even leave that's something that I'm getting very strongly from the spread. Your person could be a Pisces, a Sagittarius, or a long-distance relationship through online dating for some of you. Uh, for some of you, it could be someone that you met at their workplace. This could be a doctor as well, or a chef, or an entrepreneur, or a teacher. But there's someone that uh, that is at a very high position when it comes to their income, when it comes to their level and the stability that they have to provide you here i'm seeing leo you might be even more successful than any of these two especially from the past person i feel you are much more lucky in your career or in your profession you're standing proud you're standing great and i feel you're you laid a stable foundation for yourself for some of you could be an influencer of some kind for some of you are pretty uh, independent and the way you dress and the way you carry yourself. There's a vibe that people literally feel you're a boss. Like you give off the vibe of being a boss of your life. <clears throat> but uh, there is a struggle between these two options that's keeping you stuck and not able to decide which might backfire you in the long run. So it's important that you decide. But then you have emotion for the past person or this past person is showing you intense love where you do want to trust them. And then this is going to create conflict for you because you have two options coming in and you're not able to make out whether who is this one of these that is promising to me or that's going to live with me for long term. You are unable to understand that. Some of you could be a cancer coming in. Two of Cups. All in all, I'm seeing a new relationship coming in. The Emperor, the Justice. <clears throat> I'm seeing an older male helping you out. Maybe this is a priest. For some of you, this is a port marriage. For some of you, getting a second marriage done. Or a consecutive one. But... Either it's someone, uh, either it's a court marriage or it's a 
um, marriage in uh, <clears throat> the church or any sacred place but i'm definitely feeling that there is someone older that's guiding you really well that's helping you to move on and live your life and you know settle down with someone that you de that you really deserve Then we have the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel there's a proposal coming in for sure. And I'm definitely sensing this is more about a long-term like commitment or true legal matter, which means could be a marriage proposal coming in. I feel there's someone that wants to come towards you but is not showing a lot of consistency because you might be keeping them stuck or you're the one that's showing that sign that um, of unsurety uh, or insecurity. So there's someone that wants to make an effort only if you allow or if you can give a clear signal to this person. The Seven of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> okay, let me just be honest with you, Leos. I feel like you're running away from this change. You know that something big is about to come into your life, which may take you towards a completely new journey, but you want to stay in the past. For some of you are still stuck on your past lover, or especially your past uh, marriage partner. You don't want to come out of it. But what you don't see coming is something that you are running away from. There's a luck. There's a complete shift in your luck. Your fortune is changing. And with this, I'm seeing that you will see yourself married in the coming future. You're, I feel like you're running away from this. Deep inside, you don't want this. Because maybe you want some... You want to reconcile or you don't trust someone that is willing to come towards you with this proposal. Either there are trust issues or you're still in the past. I want to feel that way again. So I'm definitely seeing the past is trying to, you know, convince you to be with them. Let me see about the King of Cups. What are their feelings towards you, Leos? Okay. This king of cups is more interested in your uh, success, in your money or your status or to show you off. All right. This person shows you fake love and they have been like they want that attention or that money that you gave them. Something like you smothered them a lot in the past. Let me see about the king of pentacles. How do they feel about you, Leo's? I feel like your past person is missing um, the fact that you at one point of time were all into this person and they want that feeling they want to feel that way again and so this is why they want you back but there's nothing more about uh, honesty or deep love okay there's nothing like that five of swords king of pentacles Please. Okay. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles is not sure. This another person, the second person that is into your life, is not sure yet. They're, they're juggling you with other options, to be honest. This person is not opening up to you. But you still need to move on, guys. Okay? There's an age difference for some of you. Your person could be younger. But I'm seeing they're still looking for other options while they keep option with you open. So if you don't...
take action they will completely walk away because they have other options right now tell me more this is i feel like leo you might be struggling with your own emotions you have mental struggle going on there's a lot of anxiety and stress and depression going on okay six of pentacles Ten of Wands. I feel like Leo, you want to resist. I feel the universe wants to offer you great opportunity in love, but this new person is waiting on you. They want to offer you, but only if you stop judging this or being too skeptical or non-trustworthy about this. At least you get to know this person. Some of you are not opening up. Too guarded. Too guarded. Someone wants to give you this offer. But you're too guarded, I feel. There's a lot of uh, fear or anxiety of being judged or of judging someone, not trusting someone. You have trust issues, Leos. Seven of Swords. Your past is like that where someone has deceived you with their lies and then ended this relationship without giving you any warning so leo's what i'm sensing right now is that you don't want to experience all of that again but what you don't see coming is a magician which is a new beginning here your life is about to change as i was telling you if you give this relationship or if you give yourself a chance to get to know someone without any expectations you will definitely let your relationship this new love evolve because again the wheel of fortune is in your favor your luck is in your favor you have the power to manifest and get the love of your life Someone is coming in with whom you'll be eventually ending up getting married to. And I feel this is going to take a little bit of time. But stop distrusting or stop going back into the past or giving the past people the same chances or following the same old patterns on and again. That way you won't land anywhere. So the king and the queen of cups is more about, hey, um, this new love, you need to trust because you'll stay in this confusion. As long as you stay in this confusion, you won't let this Ten of Cups energy evolve between you and your person. This new person is still yet to come into your life, okay? This is the one that is your soulmate, but you're not allowing yourself to open up, okay? In brief, this is what we see. But your luck is changing only if you allow things to evolve in your life. Leos, please. Oh, official person, the someone from your workplace, I feel. Someone is interested from your workplace, has a 9 to 5 job and a very good position. Maybe they wear uniform, they have stars, merit. But you don't want to see, I think. You don't want to see this new love coming in. Why? Because you're stuck between two people from the past or one person from the past or giving someone a hard time to get to know you. Focus on your finances. Maybe you met this person or you will meet this person at your job. And that is your true love. Okay. You are soon about to get engaged with someone. Only if you allow this to emerge. You are not doing this, Leos. You need to be positive about your emotions, about expectations, belief. Because the magician is like the power is in your hand. If you keep on thinking about the negative things, more of the negative will come out. And if you keep on thinking about, yes, things are going to be positive, they will be positive, I believe in this, you will see what you want deeply is coming towards you on its own. Some of you, this is a Capricorn, but I'm seeing whatever you're working on, your goals, your finances, your career, you will be successful in it, okay? Yes, so the universe wants to tell you that focus on your new life. You're definitely having a new beginning in your life with this new year. There's a new life coming for you only if you allow this to emerge, right? Stop being too attached to people. 
and be strong because the change is something that you need to be flexible and adjusting with. I'm not seeing you being very adjusting with the changes coming into your life. If you don't adjust, you'll stick to the past and you won't let this new life come into you, come into your, uh, come into reality, I would say. Some of you are in 50s and 30s, 40s, Knight of Swords. I feel like your own brain is acting like a block for you. Your own brain is creating that mental struggle for you. Okay. Three of Pentacles, the hangman. Could be a Pisces interested. It's time for you to focus because you're still confused and you're keeping yourself in this confused energy and this is not cool. Leos. If you don't uh, finally make a decision, your own mind will become your own enemy. So that confusion needs to end. That is something that is very, very important here. Go slowly. You slowly will emerge and change yourself, but you need to take that step forward. First step at least. Take small baby steps and you'll see yourself completely changed after this final ending. I feel like you're going to put a full stop in your expectations with someone in mind. After three months, you won't be the same person. That is something I'm assuring you, okay? You won't be the same person in three months. You've completely left the situation in the past, the feeling of loneliness, and I was telling you about indecision, you were confused. You need to come out of this by consistent efforts. Consistency is something that you need right now in order to come out of this feeling of alone uh, or loneliness. So use your intuition and follow one uh, direction. It's time for you to make a decision, an important decision that I'm seeing. Tell me more about this new love coming in. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Cups. The Chariot. And the Ten of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. Cancer coming in for some of you. You may have to go through certain trials and tribulations to find the one for yourself. Because you can't, I can't say that the one that's coming now is the one that's meant for you. But the one that's coming now is going to help you open up and find a better person for yourself. So whoever is coming into your life. I feel you're not going to accept their offer, but you definitely will make efforts to open yourself up and get to know this person and their intentions. And then you will definitely start to look for other options in your life. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Leo's, what's coming? Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Oh my gosh. Five of Cups. What's happening, Leos? You're like, some of you are like, oh my gosh. There is a friend of yours at your workplace or there's a person in your workplace that you're competing with that is competing with you. I feel you might get a promotion in place of someone else or if there's someone that's trying to put you down and is trying to take your place, they will fall flat on their face. So it's like the karma backfiring. Whatever they put a negative intention on you, it's going to backfire them because I'm seeing a new opportunity in money or career or profession is coming where you will feel more proud of yourself, prosperous, and you have money coming in, your stability coming in. There's multiplication of potential. I'm feeling your potential is something that is pretty uh, acknowledged and appreciated.
all right you feel very relaxed wherever you are okay so you will be this queen of pentacles that means that you're going to be at this position of stability have built a solid foundation for yourself okay being strong in your own power being successful that is what your you know a benchmark going to be in this month in this first week so that's about it leos i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and comment and do not forget to like and subscribe i'll see you again with more videos and share it and hit the notification bell i'll see you again bye